They all, as the Bible said, they all bow down to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. In the book of Acts, when the hundred were in the upper room, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. the glory of God came in, they were all of one accord. Amen. They were all of one accord. Amen. They were all worshiping God. They went, they went up there for the sole purpose of waiting on the Savior. Amen. Waiting on the Savior. Right. And when the glory of God came in, it came in like a mighty much rushing wind. And they all started speaking in other tongues. They all had glowing tongues of fire. The glory of God came in so strong. You know, at that time, Peter, he wasn't really much of a preacher before that. But you know what? The next day, he went out there and he preached and preached and preached. And what is there? 5,000 people had it. Right. Amen. After that. There was people from all over the countryside. Amen. What kind of drunkards are these? Amen. It was too early in the morning. They weren't drunk. Amen. It was too early in the morning. Glory. These people weren't drunk. They were filled glory. with the Holy Ghost. Yes. They were filled yes. with the glory of God. Glory. You know, 2,000 years ago, if you could walk by a gate and a man could get up and run around that was crippled all of his life, run back and forth and shout and Praise God that he can do it today. Yes. Yes. Amen. He can do it today. Amen. If yes. we would all start to worship God and come into his house God. and give him praise and glory. Yes. And yes. Worship him in spirit and truth. And all be of one mind and Amen. one accord. God's glory can fill this house. Amen. God's glory can fill this house. If we get off of our texts, off of our phones, and don't worry about those things, we leave what happened to us during the day. Any negativeness, if we leave it at that door, we'll be when we leave come in, leave it at the door. Come into this house and worship God. Come in with worship in your hearts. A worship that God is going to be glorified with, that he's going to accept. Because when God accepts our praises and our glory, the fire is going to come down. And Amen. Amen. I can't wait until this happens. Because I expect it. It's going to happen real soon. God's going to pour His Spirit out upon all of us. And it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Jeremy, someday you're going to get up and dance. I can't wait to see it. I, I, I totally expect it. So it's not going to be a normal fire. I can't wait. It's not going to be a normal. It's going to be a holy fire. Every one of us are going to be filled with that holy fire. Amen. Hey, I'll tell you what, if you're not filled with that holy fire at that time, okay. you're not going to want to be in your house so you can open the door. Because <laughs> <laughs> God's not going to have it no other way. He's going to have his way. Yeah. He's going to have his way. <laughs> I'm waiting for that day. Praise I praise my God. Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lord. glory that he's put upon us in these last few services. You know, I have felt God's spirit in these last few services. But it's not it's nothing compared to what we're going to see. It's nothing. And I tell you, it can happen. It can happen tomorrow. It can happen next Wednesday when we come into this service. It can happen next weekend. If we would be to spend our week praising, fasting, worshiping God at our homes. Don't wait to get to the church to worship God. Do it every day in your home. Do it while you're going for your walks. You can do it. You know what? Who cares what people think of you if they see you walking around talking to yourself? You're not talking to yourself. They say it's not for Jesus. They do it on the cell phone. Who cares? You know what? We need to get in that. We're a peculiar people anyway. The Bible says we're peculiar people. Yes. Why not do it anyway? Yes. All right. Yes. Why not do it anyway? Yes. Why not? Let's start giving God our glory all the time. All right. Let's give Him his the praise all right. that He is due. He's our risen Savior. He's our risen he gave Savior. His life for us. Yes. Amen. We are going to spend eternity with the Lord. Amen. Yes. We're not going to be dead in the grave. Amen. We're not going to be dead in the grave. Amen. You know, not one of us has the promise of tomorrow. Not one of us has the promise of tomorrow. Amen. But you know what? As long as we're living in God, we're living in God. We, we trust. We believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as our Amen. Savior. We're going to be living.
living with Jesus. Amen. We're going to be walking those beautiful Amen. streets of gold. Amen. I can't wait. I can't wait to be with Jesus. You know, I'm not looking forward to. Uh, if I was to die tomorrow, I'm okay with that. Amen. I really am. I'm, I'm okay with that. I, you know, I don't want my children to mess me. I don't want you know my family to mess me. I don't. I don't think that the Lord's going to take me home yet because He's not finished with me. I'm still learning. I've learned a lot since I've been here. I've learned a lot since I've been here, and I'm going to learn a lot more. Amen. You know, when I got my motorcycle accident, I had a closed head injury. I couldn't remember nothing, hardly. And I still have a problem with my memory. But you know what I've been finding out? The more I read this book, the more that the Lord's revealing to me. And you know what? If I, if I start to think, of, you know what? I can't remember what I read. I can't remember what I read. But you know what? When the opportunity comes up, it seems to pop into my head. Yes, that's right. And I can say that. Amen. And that's because I'm starting to focus on God a lot more. In the last few weeks, I've been doing that. You know, I've, I've got this little book that was given to me at Christmas time. Thank you. And that's uh, a book of revelation from God. That this going had. And I've been reading that every morning. It's an everyday reading thing. And... Something that I've, I've changed a lot about is the way I pray. You know, I I used to sit down every day, and it seems like I was repeating my prayers over and over and over every day. Bless my children, bless me and my wife, bless my house, give us help, bless the sick people that are in our church. You know, Lord, heal them. Every day I was like that. But then this revelation came to me, and you know, through these words of this book, and it said. I'm already answering your prayers. So why not just thank you for what I've already done? Hallelujah. So I quit repeating my prayers every day. Hallelujah. And I, th I started thanking my Lord. Lord, thank you for that prayer. Thank you for answering my prayer. You know what prayer I'm talking about. Thank you for it. And then I, if I have something new to pray about, I pray about it. You know? I don't forget to ask God for things. Believe me, I ask God every day for things. But I quit repeating those same prayers every day because I know the Lord's blessing my children. And I know the Lord's working on them right now, the one that He worked on. I know He is. And I'm thanking God for doing that. I have children that need a, a closer walk with the Lord, and the Lord is doing that because I got faith in it, and I know He's doing it because I've asked Him. And I'm going to stay faithful to Him. And if I stay faithful to Him, He's going to stay faithful to me. We all need to be that way. Thank you, know, we need to start being more spirit-minded. If we're spirit-minded, we can be spirit-filled. We need to be spirit-filled. We need to start having the love of God and the acceptance of God in our lives. Because when the acceptance of God is in our lives, we need to change. Our whole life is going to change. I've seen a big change in uh, a couple different people in this congregation just in the last couple weeks. <coughs> Brother David, I've seen a difference in your worship lately. And I, you know, and I thank the Lord, you know, that uh, the things that I've been seeing. Brother Carter, when he first came here, he was just he didn't know what to do. But you know what? He gets up and dances in the spirit now. And, Amen. And, I, Amen. and I thank God for that. You're getting a touch from the Lord. Because you're opening yourself up to God. You're reaching that portal to heaven. And I thank God for that. You know, I mean, that's what worship is about. It's yes. reaching God. We come into the, His house to worship Him, yes. to give Him the glory, and to praise Him. Yes. You know, Amen. that's what we need to do. Amen. That's what Amen. we need to do. I thank the Lord for Amen. all that He's doing. Amen. I thank the Lord for all that He's doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. Amen. We need to all just shout one more time, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah.